Hey, what is up everyone? Danny here. So today I want to talk about, I was just making a boxing video with Alex and we looked at the speed bag and it crossed my mind to show you guys how to use a speed bag properly. So I'm not going to go into advanced techniques on a speed bag, but a lot of people come to the gym and sometimes they see a speed bag in your boxing gym or your martial arts academy and before class or after classes, people will jump onto the speed bag platform and um, they start punching and swinging away. They don't know how to use it correctly and then they don't have any timing and rhythm. And the goal of using a speed bag is to enhance your timing, hand-eye coordination, as well as that rhythm, the coordination of your hands left to right, and get that rhythm of using the tempos of the beats, all right? And I notice the beats, I mentioned the beats simply because this is what you want to have on a speed bag, that beat, okay? So let me explain something. So, when you're gonna hit the speed bag, you wanna develop that beat and that rhythm. So it's gonna go one, two, three, and that's when you touch the speed bag again. So when you hit it, it's gonna go one, two, three, as you hit it again when it comes to the center. Okay, so the beat is going to be like this. Ta, ta, ta. The one, two, three. Okay, before you hit it again. So slow motion, which is hard to do on a speed bag, but the rhythm is gonna be one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so if we go on the speed bag now, it goes like this. One, two, three. 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 So we're always keeping that tempo going, all right? So you're not going to be counting the rhythm of the speed bag, but you're going to see the hand-eye coordination of developing that rhythm. And the best way to do it when you're starting out, because a lot of people will come here and just like, and the bag goes too fast because they hit it too hard and they can't even catch it a second punch. So the idea is to always keep a light fist and how you're going to do it when you start, this is how I like to teach beginners, is align your speed bag, make sure it's a proper height, eye level, and use the open palms, right? Just the fingers. And you're going to tap this, the bag as such. Just tap it with your hands. It's easier than the punches at first, okay? So let's say it's day one. This is what I'll have a student do. Just tap it like this, all right? You'll find it's a little bit more flimsy, but it's just so you can actually develop that rhythm and that bounce. So one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's going to look awkward because you're just pushing with your fingers, but it's just an exercise where you develop that beat. Now, once you're comfortable with this, of course, you're going to go from the right hand and then eventually from the left. And then I suggest alternating left and right, maybe like one counts or two counts. And then, only then, you start with the fist. Okay, so the way you properly hit the speed bag is the first one will hit with your knuckles. And then you roll your fist, and the second comes into a back fist. So you hit it with the knuckles, and then you roll into a back fist. So it's going to look like this. The knuckles and the back fist. The knuckle and the back fist. So one and two. And slowly is hard to do, so it's going to be like this. So now when you look at your bag and you're making it bounce like this, you always want to make sure that you don't hit underneath the bag or too high on the bag, all right? Because you're not going to be using boxing gloves. So it's going to be a little more precise where you want to hit it right, right here on the spot. That's the sweet spot of your speed bag, okay? And depending on the size of your speed bag, this is a small speed bag. You have some bigger ones. That's one point I want to make is the smaller the bag, the harder it is because the faster it's going to go. The bigger the speed bag, it's going to be easier for beginner because it's going to go a lot smoother. It's actually a lot slower. But the peanut size bags are much quicker. This one needs air. I don't have a pump, so it's hard to uh, fill it up correctly. But I wanted to show you guys just to catch that rhythm. And one more thing too is the speed bag is also a great tool to develop some good shoulder endurance, which you need in boxing because you want to have your hands up at all times. And this my friends, if you start to lower your guard like this, you're going to be late because what happens now, people bring their hands in. I'm always going to be late trying to touch the bag again. So I want to keep my hands up at eye level every time I touch the speed bag. It's always here. So see how my hand is always going to be doing a circle as such. So if I'm punching it, it's always going to be into a circle fashion. My elbow is not moving where I'm trying to always maintain this position so I can always control the bag as such. All right. So the speed bag, once again, a great tool. It's been used for such a long time by boxers uh, for great reason, because 
Usually we do this at the end of the workouts, you know, so sometimes if Alex and I are training, we'll just go 10 minutes straight on the speed bag, all right? Just to do that finisher at the end of the workout for some added shoulder endurance, okay? Um, or you can even use it at the beginning as a warm up just to warm yourself up. It's a good thing to do. Sometimes you just set the timer and do it for two or three minute rounds and other times you just go, all right? 10 minutes straight or 20 minutes straight. Just have fun with it. So the thing is, there's no secret movements on doing the speed bag. It's just practice. So the more you do it, the better you'll get. And um, there you go. So just a beginner level tutorial for people who are wondering how to use this. They come to the gym and they see a speed bag in their boxing gym and um, no one's taught them how to use it and they just start punching away and always missing the bag. But that's not how you train the speed bag. This is not a heavy bag. This is not a focus mitt. This is a speed bag and it has a particular function into your boxing training. Guys, hope you enjoyed. Leave us a thumbs up and I will see you in the next tutorial. Take care.